just into a basic crab ride and into a half and put them on his back, okay? So I have Jason here, you know, whistle blows, whatever it is, I go to a claw and I go into the inside of the thigh on the far side, and I'm gonna pull the claw to me, I'm gonna scope the skirt over the top of his hips, and I'm gonna use my knee to pinch. From here, just gonna sit, and when he sits, my feet here, let's rotate. My feet are gonna go right to the inside of his calves, and I'll be here in the thigh, okay? This is a really, really good control position. Why? Because I can track him like, like the way insects have antenna, right? To, to sort of feel things out. I'm feeling out where he's going with his hips with my feet, okay? Then I have control here and I have control here. This is a really good position, okay? So whatever way he moves, I'm gonna be able to feel and I'll be able to just follow him, okay? Here, let me sit through, go this way. I'm looking for wrist control. Maybe I throw a half and I turn him back on his back, okay? All right, so one more time. Jason, put in a claw, far hip, and look, I blanket him, blanket him, and I pinch my knees here, and I just pull him right into my lap, okay? Now, ideally, yeah, I want to get hooks in, for jiu-jitsu especially, but if I can't do that because he's tight, the smaller of, of a ball he is, the more control I have, though, because it's less, you know, it's less surface area that I really have to cover, right? If he's bigger, hooks can go in easier. So if you can't get hooks, then go into a crab rod. Now I'll show you a nice way to get into his back. Wrist control, claw goes to a half, pull this in tight, bring him to the side, elevate, hop off, and bring him over, and then I can start setting up my attack inside the jaw. Okay, so let's do that one time. Claw, thigh, pinch, pull it in, here, wrist control, hop over, and get ready. Okay? Let's just play with the crab bar. Let's enter that position. Three, two, one.